Hi, most modern houses have got these panel radiators in most of the rooms, so if we're wallpapering, we have to find a way to get around these. And at first glance, it does look as it could be a bit tricky, but actually, it's not too bad really when you know the, the way to do it. But what I've done first of all, before I start wallpapering, is I've got one of these Ken Dog brushes, and I've just gone down behind the radiator to get all the dust out because I don't want to get it all stuck all over my wallpaper. So I've done that first. So the main problem, I suppose, really when you do around these radiators, it's the brackets that hold it onto the wall. So if the camera could come and have a look. <coughs> so the bracket, if you look, it's got two brackets, one on each side, which holds the radiator onto the wall. And that's the tricky bit we've got to negotiate when we're wallpapering. So what I tend to do is on the front of the radiator, you've got these ridges. So I count how many ridges along it is to the edge of that bracket. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side of that six ridge is where that bracket is. So I normally make a note of that for when I'm wallpapering later, so I remember where it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and paste up my first bit of wallpaper, and I can get cracking on getting around this radiator. Okay, so I've got the paper on the wall, over the front of the radiator here. What I've already done is I've folded under about an inch the paper so when I pull it down behind the radiator, it's easier for me to get hold of without slipping on the paste. Right, so next thing I want to do is mark where the cuts got to go on the paper and it's six ridges along. So if I mark that one, two, three, four, five, so there's the sixth one. I'm just going to do a few pencil dashes where I've got to cut the paper. Like that, so I've got some little dashes up where the vertical cut's got to go. Okay. So I've gone up about as high as where the bracket is on the wall. Now I've got to lift the paper up and tuck it down behind the radiator. And to help me do it, I'm going to be using this radiator roller, which you can buy from DIY stores for three or four pounds. Quite handy, these. So. Lift both pieces up, like that, so they're flat against the wall. And gently start to tuck it in behind initially with your hand, just to get it started. Oops, before we start to use the roller. There we go. Let's go down behind there nicely. So now what I've got to do is to reach underneath, grab hold the paper and pull it down. Okay, so now I've put it down behind the little radiator roller. Now I've just got to pull the little flaps out here from underneath. There's my first one. That's my first piece. There goes the second piece. Let's butt the two together under there. Like that. So 
all that's left to do now is to trim the top and the bottom and just wipe the paste off the radiator. Okay, so this is the next piece and this one's going to run right down between the two brackets so there's nothing getting its way fortunately. What I've already done is I've done that little fold over a bit at the bottom there so it's easier for me to, to grab it. Now, same as when I've done the first piece, so lift it up and get it pretty flat against the wall and then just use your hand just to get it started like that initially and get your radiator roller and gently start to feed it down in behind the radiator. Just gently keep going from side to side. So now I've got to do now is just to reach up from underneath and grab the paper and pull it down. Okay, so now to pull out the paper from behind the radiator, grab up underneath. There he is. I can unrelease that little flap I had. Smooth that out. Joins right on the edge of the previous piece down there, so that's good. So once again, just got to trim it on the top and the bottom and wipe the paste off, ready for the last piece to go on the other side of the radiator. Okay, so that's that finished. So that's the method I use for going around radiators. Um, the camera wants to have a quick look around. So I hope you found this video useful and if you have why not subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos.